Kane and Silent King. Sorry about that, guys. It's about my school trying to get in the skew. I'm tired of working these dead end jobs, making barely any money at all. I had a really good job, making decent money, and basically, um, it's a company that y'all would know. Um, I mean, I'll just say it's opposite of Home, Home Depot. Catch my drift. Um, basically, they got rid of anybody that made decent money. So, yeah. They got rid of, um, assistant store managers. They got rid of department managers. They got rid of full assistant manager that had pretty, um, big cancer. Yeah. Didn't even give them an opportunity to have a different position. So, um, yeah, they did people pretty dirty. Um, I'm not going to say exactly who it is, but I'm sure you all know who I'm talking about. And, uh, yeah, I was basically a delivery driver. Making pretty damn good money. And they got rid of me basically because I was making good money. So I'd rather hire people in to make half of what I was making. So, yeah, that sucks. I really enjoyed it. It was a fun job. I was good at it. Got customer reviews constantly of how good the job I did. Um, the problem with the other guys, they always got a lot of damage. Uh, did a bunch of damages to people houses and stuff. And I, on the other hand, barely got damages. That's my job. Plus I got hurt. So I was in workers comp as well and was getting threatened by managers threatened if I didn't hurry up and come back to my job that I would lose my position and be demoted and they would cut my pay and I basically had enough and went to my HR to um, work it out and basically being T was an assistant store manager they pushed it to the side so I went to the district HR and they said that they would take care of it and basically um, never heard back from them and got a paperwork saying that I was no longer employed there so yeah it's pretty bullshit because I wouldn't have gotten hurt if they properly trained their employees for delivery men or delivery department. Um, instead, they just threw them out in the field and no recognition of what they were supposed to do or how they were supposed to do it. Um, told them multiple times that they needed to send out three guys, two guys that actually knew what they were doing so they could show the new employees how to do the job right. But they didn't, and I got hurt by a new employee that didn't know what he was doing, pushed me, or pushed the refrigerator way too fast up the steps, and basically the refrigerator fell on top of me. I got a labral tear in my shoulder, and I got a TFCC tear, I think it was TFC, I think, I don't know. TFC tear in my wrist and basically could not do my job for almost a year because workers comp took forever had to get surgery both on my shoulder and wrist and yeah they treated me like scum but what kills me is most companies won't want people getting threatened okay so here's the gray line they don't want people threatened in 
companies like that but the only people that get in trouble is if they don't have manager beside their title if you're a manager you can get away with murder you could get away with slapping one of your employees if they didn't see it so if i went to them and told them exactly what happened and it was a regular employee he would either be fired or got written up and what happened to that asm nothing absolutely nothing why because he was a manager and there was another manager standing right next to him when he threatened me so of course he took his side which was bullshit because i almost took him to court because after that i started recording every conversation i had with managers and uh so basically after that i recorded everything and trust me i got a lot of not good conversations on uh, recording basically them telling me i was a freaking liar and that i shouldn't make accusations of like that yeah and basically when i was off work uh, my mom got hurt um her leg went out and the hr that was there the, the new one not the old one that i talked to about the threats but i did talk to her about the threats as well she was nice we got along and she worked with me when my mom was sick she told me just to bring in doctor's notes stating that my mom was actually hurt and that she needed someone to take care of her it was fine and i went in to talk to her one day to bring in the doctor's notes and she wasn't there in another asm that i had trouble with um basically looked at me and told me asked me when i was coming back to work and i told her the situation that my mom was hurt and i was taking care of her and that i've been talking to the hr about it and she's said it's okay as long as i bring notes in and she asked me again she's like when are you coming back to work and i told her and she goes i can care less what happens to your mom i can care less if she's hurt or sick or whatever i want to know when you come back to work and guess what i got that on recording yep so i had that on recording told my store manager about it and you know what happened to her nothing. absolutely nothing so there is a very gray line in when they say um, bullied in a workplace that they don't tolerate it they don't tolerate it but if you have a manager's title next to their title or a manager you know position next to their title then they don't care the only time they care is when it's just plain applause but if you're a manager they're gonna take their side over yours. So, basically, that's probably the main reason why they got rid of me because they knew that they were actually not wrong and that they could get in some serious trouble for treating me that way, and they let me go. And I was really close to taking the court, but I didn't. And days go on and on, and I kind of wish I did get to do it because. It's bullshit that managers get away with shit. It's absolutely bullshit. So, so don't believe everything your company says. That they don't tolerate bullying, they don't tolerate threats. Yeah, they don't tolerate it, but if you're a manager, they're not going to get rid of them. And that was just one, like two of multiple threats that I got. So they treated me like scum. Managers told me, you know, I'm a, I'm a single dad. I only see my kids on the weekends and run up to her. And, you know, they had me working basically every single weekend, all day long. And I asked them, I said, you know, can I work mornings? Wasn't asking off for the weekends. Um, basically, she told me that she could care less if I see my kids that you're gonna work when I tell you to work yeah. 
But before I got hurt, oh man, they treated me so good because I was getting compliments, no no damages on houses when we were installing appliances and stuff like that. And then as soon as you get hurt, that all goes away. You're just scum. So from here on out, I don't listen to what employees say because 90% of the time it's freaking bullshit. Absolute and utter bullshit. Because I respected that company. Um, I believed in what they said. They said, oh yeah, we're like family. We treat our employees like family. We come first. No. That place, maybe some of the other stores, but that one, all they gave a shit about was money. They could care less if employee died on site. They didn't give a shit. So, sorry, I'm uh, apologize that I'm kind of uh, venting, but it still thoroughly just gets under my goddamn skin. Alright, let's try this uh, ability out real quick. Which one did we buy? This one. Uh. How do we do this? Oh, that's cool. Dude, that was really cool. I dig that. Yeah, we might use that for a little bit until we get our bull uh, run up. See, I don't understand the stealing, like, does it count, or does it only count when people see us? Where were we just going? I kind of got lost when I was talking. Apologize. Um, I think we just did it, right? Let's go here. I apologize about the, uh... but I just I just needed to yeah, so people are I just wish for once companies actually gave a shit about their employees how the did I just miss that shot I don't know how I just missed that goddamn shot. Is this the. Did we die? Isn't this what we just did? This looks a lot like the one we just did, but I guess not. I swear to god, this is like the exact same freaking place. I didn't die, did I? I don't think so. This 
swear to God, this looks just like where we just did. Some of these places look exactly the same. They really could make it a little bit different. We definitely could have played on Nightmare. This is exactly the same setup. It's just kind of crap. Been here yet? Who likes it? <clears throat> oh my god, we're right at 500. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I didn't think it would take us that long. And we've been messing around. We could have got it done a lot quicker, but we're getting a lot of these. That's a big ass area. <laughs> All right, let's go for that brazier first. Those edges. This must be a big place. She just face planted again. That's so funny when she does that. Make sure we got everybody more. Yeah, there was a lot of people here. It's gonna take a minute. Thank you. 
What? How do you even see me? Our bounties come up.
get the news. Dude, I paid the goddamn bounty, so go away. We came here. We're supposed to. I think we're getting ready to have another one of those battles. Those battles are fun. I like that they added that. I still want a boss fight though, man. We haven't had a boss fight yet. There was quite a few boss fights too. Like you went after leaders and stuff. Where this one is not like really. Leader. I mean, there is leaders, but it's not like the same. It's like the leaders in the last one. It was like boss fight and stuff. So. I know there's a Medusa fight, but I'm hoping that's not the only boss fight. So. I'm glad we paid that dude off. Pretty big ass area.
be really good on that one though. Really good. I mean, shit, we silent killed most of them. Better go down there, too. Didn't we just... It feels like we just looted this, but... Okay. and cranies in this area. Shit. See, that's what I'm talking about. Shit drives me crazy. Some stuff here though. Nope. Hold on, guys, I gotta use my back.
damn, dude, there's like stuff everywhere. Jeez. Why we're looting this place at the at night? Some skins. start looting the bodies as we kill them because I want that auto loot. I don't know if they have it in this game. In the other one they did. And it helped tremendously. You didn't have to worry about looting bodies and shit. It's like an auto loot. As soon as you kill them, it gave you the loot. Nope, don't need that. No, no, no. Out. Wait, no, no. I didn't do that. No. She said, damn it. Like, I wonder if damn it was actually around back then. So let's go fall down that hole. 